Okay, so uh, 16 weeks on T. That's four months. And I really honestly don't have a terribly huge amount of stuff to update on. Um, I got back from upstate. I'll be catching up on all the videos I'm supposed to be watching and the videos I'm supposed to be making. Um, I was a little frustrated I couldn't get internet access while I was up there, but not terribly surprised, to be honest. Um, let me think. Effects of tea. My voice doesn't really feel like it's dropping, which I'm pretty happy with. I don't need it to drop any lower to be happy with it. I'm actually trying to work on getting it back up again so that I don't miss out on too much of the range I used to have. Um, I'm still getting mostly, I guess, just body hair. I'm actually getting, like, down the tops of my thighs and stuff, getting hair, dark, coarse hair, body hair, I guess, guys, have body hair, right? So, uh, now I have body hair, too. Ooh, exciting. I just tend to get rid of it. Um, not much facial hair. I'm finally starting to get some real fuzz in here, Ooh, which is cool, because that's the only body hair I'm really, I really want. Get rid of my horribly horrible faux sideburns for a minute there, and I'm actually starting to get a little bit of, a little bit of fuzz. It's definitely not even whisker status yet, but considering the fact that's the last place on my entire head that's started to get hair on it, I mean, other than my eyeballs, <laughs> that's, that's a good thing, because I want that hair. Um, I think that's about it. I'm still really... Yeah, at the end of my last video, I got kind of cut off. I was going to say that I honestly feel like any sort of genital growth I was going to get, I probably got my first two weeks, because it hasn't gotten any bigger in the slightest or any more functional in the slightest. But again, I'm not too bent about it, because with hormones in my system, I can enjoy having sex. It doesn't matter what's in between my legs. So don't really care much, honestly. Um, yeah, a little bit of body hair voice isn't really dropping anymore. I do stink. Like, for a while there, I didn't, I wasn't sure if I was really gonna develop pungent body odors, and oh yes, boy, did I. <laughs> um, my shoes stink. My clothes stink. My underarms stink. Uh, just, I stink. I get that's what happens when you sweat and you're a guy. So, uh, I actually find it highly preferable to the nasty, musky, kind of cheesy smell I used to have. Just maybe a little bit too much information, but it's not a feminine smell at all. It's a very acrid, bitter male smell, and I can live with that. I just shower more often. Um, but I found that interesting. Definitely, definitely pungent body odor, which is probably because it's fucking 85, 90, 95 degrees and I'm sweating all the time. Um, oh no, I guess, yeah, my hairline is starting to pull back a little farther, which is cool. I'm getting a bigger forehead going on, so when I cross-dress like a female, I'm gonna have to pull my little fringe down here a little bit more. It still doesn't work. Anyway, uh, I did finally get my prescription for my needles and syringes filled, which is good because I had literally just used my very last needle. And I really didn't want to use, like, the 20-gauge needle that comes on my syringes to inject, to draw up and inject with, because it hurts enough as it is. So, the problem had been that they couldn't call the prescription in. They had to mail the physical prescription to the pharmacy. I guess nobody felt like telling me what was going on. I, I guess it's not common procedure for them to tell people what's going on when they have to do that kind of thing. So my prescription got filled while I was out of town. And the day I came back into town was like the 14 day mark, which means they unfill it and they file it. So when I went in yesterday, they had to pull it back out of the file and try and fill it. Now, I didn't realize this until today, uh, that my prescription wasn't for just like a dozen needles or whatever. It was for a whole fucking box of needles. Two fucking boxes of needles and a box of fucking syringes, just for good measure. So, um, when I went in today to pick them up, I got 
entire boxes of needles, which I really wasn't expecting. Um, eight, eighteen dollars, nineteen, twenty, thirty, forty dollars got me what will be a little bit more than a three year supply of needles and syringes. It's it's a hundred of each in a box. And I use one every ten days, so that's thirty six and a half a year or so. Yeah, more than three years for forty bucks. That's not bad considering the fact that I'll probably have lost or destroyed most of them before I use them up. I am a little confused, though, because the, the, it's the same syringes I was using before. It's all the same stuff. These come with a needle on them. They come with a 20-gauge needle on them, and that's what I've been using to draw up with, right? But my prescription included needles to inject with. It included 21-gauge needles. And... And also 22 gauge needles. Now I'm confused because I don't know why I need both of these. I figure I'll just use the 21 gauge needles because that's what I was using before. And if I'm feeling particularly like a wuss, I could use the 22 because they're smaller. But I have 200 needles and I don't know what to do with most of them. Maybe I'll make myself a sculpture of doom or something. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's like if anybody else has gotten. Like, I have a feeling it was supposed to be like an either or, like I was supposed to tell them which one to fill, but I never got any information from anyone. So they're like, hey, you have three prescriptions. I'm like, okay, whatever, and here's some money. And they're like, here. And I'm like, oh shit, there's two boxes of needles here. So I don't, I don't want to use the 20 ones to drop with because there's already a 20 attached to the syringe. So, whatever. Um, yeah, okay, so here, this is cool. Before I went out of town, I went to Michael's because I like craft stores. I'm definitely an artsy fartsy kind of person. And I got this box. And I painted on it, obviously. You know, it's, it, it tells me what the contents of the box do. But in case you can't tell, everything that I need neatly fits in this box in all of its compartments. So it was like two and a half bucks for this box. See? You got your syringes and your. Uh, gauze pads and your alcohol wipes, testosterone, needles, band-aids. I can fit uh, three syringes and six needles in here. I only have two of each because, you know, that's like almost a month. But this will make it really handy for traveling. It's made it very easy to go upstate with. When I go out of the country later this year, it'll make it a lot easier to travel. I can just have everything in this box and I can have my letter and my prescription papers in the top of the box and it, it's all neat and organized. I have everything I need and, and it's cool. But I thought that, that was pretty epic. Yeah, here's from the back so you can see everything. Everything fits pretty damn perfectly, which was pretty cool. So, um, I also got the last one that wasn't pink, although that would have been really funny. I just don't like the color pink, so I got the green one instead. But for anybody who's looking for an awesome solution, there you go. Um, yeah, other than that, I'm just kind of hanging out. Uh, I am, like, officially unemployed for the year already now. <laughs> so I had to file my unemployment, and then I'll have to fill out the paperwork for a break in unemployment since I stopped claiming it in, like, the middle of March, I think the 21st of March. So I have to fill out all the paperwork proving that I was employed and that I'm not now and explaining why I stopped claiming it, and all that kind of crap. And then hopefully I'll have money again in a week or two, because I literally don't even have the cash to put gas in my car, so... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, that's, that's about it. Four months on half a dose of tea, and uh, here's me.